Okay, in this video I'm going to try and show you how I use Keeper, which is a new, uh, I guess, Chrome extension plugin available to the Australian marketplace. It's available on most of the other marketplaces on Amazon. So, uh, and it's very, very useful to track sales of, I guess, items that aren't selling very often or quite big items, perhaps. And it can be a little bit more useful, it can be also useful for products that are selling, you know, um, quite big volumes. So, if you click into a listing on Amazon, I'm just going to show you what the what this Chrome extension does, what Keeper does. So as you scroll down on on a product like this, you'll see that um, you know Keeper's only been around for a couple of weeks. So what you've got here is I run my mouse over. You'll see that the sales rank on this particular mattress, for example, with you know on the 26th of Thursday, 26th of July, was around 5,413, and then it dropped to 221, which indicates to me that they had a sale that day. So you can kind of get a sense of how products are selling and how often they're selling. So why don't we just go back and perhaps look at another product. Um, I'm not sure how this one's going, but it might, it might have sold a few more, I'm not sure. Okay, yep, so looks like they sold one on Thursday the 19th and then they sold another one the next day and then they were uh, sorry, two that day, then the one the next day, and then they didn't get another sale until the 25th, and they haven't had a sale since. So, uh, you know, that can be quite useful. So how to find Keeper and how to actually add it. So it's really simple, like any app on Chrome, you basically just need to go to apps, you go to the web store, um, you do a search, and it's spelt K-E, sorry, K-E-E-P-A, like that. Um, that's it there. You'll see a add to cut, add to Chrome button. I've obviously already got it on there, so um, I get an opportunity to rate it. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's it can be quite useful. It's probably one of the uh, better ways at the moment that I know of to kind of track stuff. So um, you know, if you did something like stainless steel straws, which are red hot right at the moment, stainless steel, stainless straw. Here we go, um, and then. Yeah, I don't know, let's grab this second result here, the Amazon's Choice one. And then we can scroll down to the Keeper plugin. So uh, I've no idea why um, they might have run out of inventory. I've no idea what's going on, why they've, their sales rank spiked. But um, you can see when they drop their price that the uh, you know that their sales have improved. Um, it's also very cheap. And then you can... With this less historical data, it's it's sometimes really cool to be able to blow that out to more historical historical data. I'm just going to refresh the page because it's disappeared for some reason. Um, stand by, yeah. And then what you can see here as well is like the how many reviews it's had, and then it got another review there. Review count five, review count six, review count seven, and then it also uh, gives you a sense of how it's been performing. So at one stage it was a 4.5 star. And then it increased after this review to a 4.8, which is effectively a five star. Uh, and then the last one is the oh, how many how many offers are on this product as well. So um, you know if you've got multiple sellers on the listing, particularly when you're dealing in wholesale, then you'll see how many offers um, for the buy box there are. Anyway, I hope that helps a little bit. And uh, thanks for watching.